Hello, uh, welcome to the final part of Assassin's Creed 2, most likely. I believe this is part number 7. If I'm, if I'm incorrect, then it's most likely part number 8. It's one of those two. Uh, regardless of that, it's been a while since I last streamed, and that's because my finals, not finals, but midterms came up, and I had to study uh, for them. And they went well. Uh, they could have gone a lot better. I got a 90 instead of 100, so... I missed a couple of things, which is bad. Um, and in addition to the, to that, um, I am now playing. If you haven't been following the gaming new stuff, um, the Steam controller recently came out, and um, and this and that is what I'm using right now uh, to actually play Assassin's Creed here. So uh, it's it, it looks pretty normal, and I'm sure it does. Uh, but but this is it, you know. Um, that this is Assassin's Creed. Uh, you, so since I am using the <laughs> sorry, it doesn't make much sense, huh? Um, since since I'm using the uh, the Steam controller, uh, I'm not gonna be. Uh, I might have to tweak some things uh, as I go forward here uh, because there are certain things that um, are a bit different. Okay, lo lo looks like I actually have all of them already collected, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, and I keep to be, I keep on making these very easy mistakes there. Shouldn't be really happening. Uh, how much money do I have? I have a lot of money. Let's upgrade the the villa Buongiorno. completely. Salute, Sir Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? I think I have everything up upgraded actually. Yeah, everything is upgraded. So 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 the villa is pretty much done. Like there's really not much to do there. Um So this is it. This is the final mission. Um so we'll see. So I do uh I do apologize for taking a very long time there um to to start this final part. Um you know, as I mentioned, certain things came up and they required my immediate attention. And that's the reason why I couldn't do it. Anyways, here we go. Let's speak to uh, Mario. It's my uncle. Ezio! It is time, uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. Okay. Place it on the pedestal. Okay. Oh, I see. The piece of Eden, of course. I feel like one of these guys is going to betray me. But I'm not sure who. Maybe this guy. Okay. So I'm supposed to fill up uh, this map, but I'm not actually sure how to do this here eagle vision rotate uh is it oh that's the start button sorry about that uh not sure what that actually means okay i see oh okay i see all right so it's like a map uh pretty much is what i'm trying trying to make here Oh, I got it. Okay, good. So this is the easy part of solving this uh, puzzle. Is to work out the outer edges before I move on to the inner part. Now the inner part comes. So I think I'm trying to make the map of the world, but I'm not entirely certain. And if that's the case, probably doing a really bad job at it. No, 
okay. That's definitely the, the place to be. Yep. Definitely making it the map of the world. I know this. But I'm not sure what to do with this piece though, like this in entire piece kind of feels wrong. What am I missing? Ah, I can't see this really well. Uh, the the colors are not really going well for with my eyes right now. This doesn't seem to be like accurate though. This seems to be a bit better. Okay. <coughs> okay. Doesn't seem to be connecting properly. Okay, this seems to be a bit better, I think. Yeah, I'm so, I'm uncertain about this piece. Um, this piece also seems kind of wrong. Hmm. Maybe this? That makes sense. This seems off though. Um, okay, that, that's a bit better. Okay. Uh, this seems off. Not this piece, but this piece. There we go. It's a map of the entire world, but there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently they do exist. I imagine they've yet to be discovered, or rediscovered. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma, then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. What staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The paper staff is the second piece of Eden. For years, no, decades, we've sought these answers. And now, at last, we have them. But so too could the Spaniard. And if he does... If he finds a way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What are the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom to conduct your search. Just let me know when you are ready, Nipote. You may also notice that Ezio has gained uh, his... Um gained a goatee uh, which makes him look I think quite dashing as for me I'm rocking a full beard right now um, it's not it's not really that attractive in my opinion but it's all right okay so he said to let him know I think I should have uh, actually gone back and, and did this so um, remember uh, about the, the vault here uh, be, be, because uh, in the future Assassin's Creed we're actually gonna go there um, now that I, I'm playing through this I'm able to connect these dots and it's pretty fa fantastic uh, to just be in, to just I actually see that that they were talking about these things so in the newer Assassin's Creed they are they, they're still progressing the, the story but but they're not really like doing it in a very obvious manner, you know? Roma beckons, Ezio. Let me know when you are ready to depart. 
Okay, heading to Rome. I believe this is where I'm probably going to assassinate Rodrigo Borges, uh, who is the person that has the Papal staff. Roma. I think at, at some point they should actually go back to the uh, times of, of Rome just to see what, what that's like. Assassinate Rodrigo Borgia. Yeah, do you have, yeah, there we go. See? As I mentioned. So before we begin, uh, I'm actually going to take a screenshot here because I think that it's cool. Alright. You may also notice uh, that the way the screenshot stuff works is way different and that's because it is different. Uh, I'm currently uh, in Steam big picture mode to actually uh, play this game and stuff so it's kind of neat. No! Okay. Uh, sorry, I, know I need to get used to the controls so uh, this is the first, I, I, I guess, complex puzzle. For forgive me as I... Uh, Oh my god! <laughs> Mamma mia! Okay. I had to manually grab that. Um. Nope. Okay. Couple of guards here. So this is the uh, first first battle here with the steam controller and successful fantastic move on Ecolo <laughs> Um, so far, like, as as you could see, it's actually going well. There, there are some problems with it, but so far, I'm not really having, like, a very big difficulty uh, in, um, in moving around. Uh, if, you, if you don't know what the Steam Controller looks like, um, I'll show that to you momentarily. Oh, God. Okay, good. Whoa. Too crazy. No. He said the same thing twice. My god, look at that synchronizing. That's like smart AI stuff. One thing that I feel like ha that has significantly improved is just my like reaction time and like stuff like uh, like since the buttons have changed, Assassino! Assassino! it's just a lot more e easier. Okay, so this is gonna be a race of some some type. Yep. Yeah, I don't really need to do mountain combat. I can just run across them and be fine, most likely. I mean, I could make this very grand. 
and just fight all of these guys. Close the gates! Stop the intruder! You know what? Why not? Uh, actually, you know, it's not really... Let's just run this. It's fine, it's fine. You cannot hurt me. Uh, hello? Okay, I'm actually just gonna kill him. Uh, this race is gonna, it's gonna take wait, a while, wait. huh? Remember your training. Oh, he stopped blocking. That was strange. Come on, get scared and run away. Get you don't need to sacrifice your Keep life. Wait for it. Don't fall for false opening. All right, right. Ooh, stay calm. I mean, I thought it, it was going to be a lot more grand here, but it's not. It's just me just like doing a very uh, basic attack there. There we go. Just so mentioned in Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood, uh, the combat in like the amount of combat satisfaction increases significantly. And then I and then I think after af after that they actually kept that combat so uh, so the games just become a lot more fun to play. Look at that guy backpedaling. All right, one more to go. And that's it. Oh, right. Sorry, uh, I need to make an adjustment really quick here, uh, which is regarding uh, this. I'm gonna make that start because then I I can actually access the the weapon wheel. Cause currently, I don't have a bind for the weapon wheel. Okay. So now, as you can see, I can swap it. Uh. Ecolo. Oh. Should probably drink some potions, huh? Haystack, okay, good. Hey guys, what's up? Damn. 
Can I assassinate somebody down here? No, right? Actually, that guy, that, that guy there, is that a guard or just a dude? It's a, it's a guard. Hey guys, what's up? Oh! There we go. I thought that, that was gonna do a double stab, but oh well. Ah, why did you have to do that? I know I shouldn't be here. After him. Go. No, the Take it down. Scary. Come on, Oh right, of course. Uh you can use the hand on that thing. We work together! Oh my god! I saw at least on my friends. Come on guys, attack. There you go. Thank you. That, the clipping stuff is awesome. Love it. Ah! Oh. Ecolo! Damn it. Wow, I'm doing really bad right now. Come on. Okay. Alright. Oh! Damn it. If you, if you want to go this way, buddy, we could go this way. Potions. So far, um, it's going well. Uh, I feel that I don't have as much control as I did when I was uh, playing with the, you know, with the other controllers. But um, it's not that bad. Um, I feel that the reason why I don't have enough con control yet is because of the fact or I feel like I don't have enough of the con control yet is because um, I am lacking in experience since this is like a very new one. So actually I think I'm going to have to use my assassin. Ah, actually, I, I, I can use poison. I believe that's what I used uh, when I was playing this one. The poison helps like a lot. Yeah, it's been so long, but I still remember what I did here. I poisoned these these guards because when they spot me, uh, they just uh, sound the alarm. So instead of killing the 
the bodies myself. I just had them poisoned. <laughs> Die, my foreigners! Pure. <laughs> I like the voice acting. Yeah, I have to do this right now. Oh, I missed. This is bad, but they might actually come to him. Die, my foreigners! Pure. So that guy died, and uh, which which is why they're they're actually running. Okay, they're actually watching him. This is my opportunity to strike. That's it. Mission accomplished. Damn! I've got to get out of here. There you go. You can go to the next room. Whatever this is about, please get out of it. Please. the time to leave. I'm only visiting. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to get out of this place because I don't have the batting. <laughs> One would assume that it's not that simple uh, to actually finish this. So what's going to happen is he's going to he's going to be like, nope, you can't kill me, and then some crazy stuff is probably going to happen. Because he has the staff, you know. Here we go. Three, two, one. I thought... I thought I was beyond this. But I'm not. I've waited too long. Lost too much. Requiescat in pace, you bastard. I don't think so. No! How is it you resist? I see. Kind of you to bring me the apple. Now give it here! Why a farty for today? <laughs> Always the fighter, just like your father. Well, rejoice, my child, for you will see him again soon. You will give it to me. As you wish. Whoa. Fascinating. An impressive power, this. But if you think it's going to save you, you have another thing coming. Um, I'm actually gonna, like, use my sword here. You are right to fear me. I cannot seem to uh, block his stuff with my sword, but maybe I can shoot him. I'll nope. You down. Cannot shoot him. Okay. Uh, maybe I can throw knives at him. 
own assassin. No, oh, I don't remember how to throw knives. Oh, this is bad. How long do you think you can keep this up? There we go. Um, all right. Maybe now I can shoot him. Now that his attention is diverted. That did not take his HP off. Um, hmm. to be honest, I'm not sure what I can do here. You cannot stop me. I see. Okay. When he's distracted. Is when I can attack him. And it takes two hits to get one of them down. How long do you think you can keep this up? Rodrigo, lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes swiftly. Really, Ezio? And would you give up so easily were it the other way around? What? Why don't we find out? So at this point, I thought that Ezio, like, might, like, get some other type of superpower or, so, or something. Because I didn't think that, that the pro protagonist would, would actually die, right? Like, they're not going to kill the protagonist at this point. Like, right at the end, they, they, they kill the thing. Like, people would have said that this game sucks, you know? Um, so. Uh, I actually don't know how to get down there. To be honest, uh, most likely I need to use this target located. Where is the target? What? Oh, there we go. Assassinate him again. Okay, so this time I'm gonna actually use my assassination blade. Or I can try using the, the poison blade and see what happens. So this is the vault um, that, that they were talking about. Uh, this is actually not the other... Like, the, apparently there's two of them. Yo, you'll see. Anyways, uh, this is the vault. Can I actually go ahead and just... Never mind. Open, damn you! Open! It's over, Rodrigo. No more tricks. No more ancient artifacts. No more weapons. Let us see what you are made of, old man. All right, then. If that's how you want to play it. That was the worst decision that this guy made. For what himself. do you even want with the vault, Rodrigo? Don't you know what lies within? Or do you mean to tell me the great and powerful assassins didn't figure it out? 
figure what out. God. It's God that dwells within. You expect me to believe that God lives beneath Il Vaticano? A more logical location than a kingdom in a cloud, don't you think? Surrounded by sinking angels and cherubim. Makes for a lovely image. But the truth is far more interesting. Let's say I was to believe you. What do you think you'll do when you open that door? I don't care. It's not approval I'm after. Just power. And you think you'll give it up? Whatever lies beyond that wall won't be able to resist the staff and apple. They were made for felling gods. God is meant to be all-knowing, all-powerful. You think a couple of ancient relics can harm him? You know nothing, boy. You take your image of the creators from an ancient book. A book, mind you, written by men. You are the Pope, and yet you dismiss the central text of your faith? <laughs> are you so naive? I became Pope because it gave me access. It gave me power. Do you think I believe a single goddamn word of that ridiculous book? It's all lies and superstition, just like every other religious tract written over the past 10,000 years. All right, I think they are done talking. So the reason why I've, I've been doing this, as you might have already figured out, is because I wanted them to finish out of the dialogue. And now I'm going to end this. Oh, I'm going to end this. No. Soon. One more. One more? I don't know what button they want me to press. I'm going to push everything. So that was the symbol of a diamond, if you, if you didn't see. So one of the most weirdest things here is that he will he, he, is that Asio is is like fight without any advantages and and Rodrigo Borgia is like sure man I'm just going to like take off all the advantages I have over you just so I can fight you fairly like what <laughs> that's uh that's you know that doesn't make much sense considering a man of his stature you know it's a it's a puzzling choice uh, that that they made but I assume that they had to be because this guy had all the power so uh, I, I, I think that that's a flaw within the story but that's okay you know it's fine we can't say that uh, Rodrigo Borgia had too much pride is the reason why he he lost that i must take a screenshot of this so let me do that really quick uh, i like to take pictures because it provides me with memories and i think that's fantastic all right greetings Prophet, it is good you have come. Let us see it, to give thanks. We must speak. Who are 
are you? Many names. When I died, it was Minerva. Before that, Merva and Mera. And on and on. The others, too. Juno, who was before called Uni. Jupiter, who was before called Tinia. <laughs> no, not God. We simply came before. Even when we walked the world, your kind struggled to understand our existence. We were more advanced in time. Your minds were not yet ready. Still not. Maybe never. No matter. You may not comprehend us, but you will comprehend our warning. You must. None of what you are saying makes sense. Our words are not meant for you. What are you talking about? There is no one else here. Enough. I do not wish to speak with you, but to you. You are the prophet. You've played your part. You anchor him, but please be silent that we may commune. Listen. When we were still flesh and our home still whole, your kind betrayed us. We who made you. We who gave you life. We were strong, but you were many, and both of us craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, the world burned until naught remained but ash. It should have ended then and there. But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so we did. You were our numbers. Your kind and mine. It took sacrifice, strength, compassion. But we rebuilt. And as life returned to the world, we endeavored to ensure this tragedy would not be repeated. But now, we are dying, and time will work against us. Truth turned into myth and legend. What we built, misunderstood. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. But let my words also bring hope. You must find the other temples, built by those who knew to turn away from war. They worked to protect us, to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. Be quick, for time grows short, and guard against the cross, for there are many who will stand in your way. It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. All of us. We can do no more. The rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. Haha, <laughs> another cliffhanger. I know Lazarus loves these. <laughs> yeah, uh, the ending when I first seen it, I was like, oh my god, what an ending. It was friggin' crazy. I was, uh, I was like, what? What is happening? You know, it was crazy. Um, and, uh, and it got me a lot more excited about the story. Uh, but in the end... There's only about 10 minutes until I need get... Need all of my equipment. Ready to go before they do. Desmond! Yeah, yeah. All right, Sean, I need you and Rebecca to get everything in here packed up and loaded into the truck. You and I will deal with the Templars. What, they're here? It was only a matter of time before they discovered us. To be honest, I'm surprised it took them as long as it did. Let's go.
Okay, uh, apparently we're still playing. <laughs> All right, so Templars have d d discovered us. So we'll talk more plan? later. We ditch this place and then what? There's another safe house. It's, we've got company. The truck's just up ahead. No. Nope. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Mr. Mike. This is an unexpectedly pleasant turn of events. And here I thought I'd have to waste more men on you. Kind of you to save me the trouble. What do you want, Vidic? For you to come home. We miss you terribly. There's still so much work for us to do together. It's not happening, Warren. You continue to disappoint in every conceivable way, Miss Stillman. I saved your life once. Do you remember? And this is how you repay me? You saved me so you could keep experimenting on people, destroying their lives. And for what? Oh, this tired argument again. As I recall, you were there, at my side, every step of the way. Their blood is on your hands just as much as mine. You need to stop him. I'm on it. No. There we go. I'm not sure if he's actually... He is killing them in real life. Okay, that's pretty crazy. And this got me even more excited about the game. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to be sweet, you know? And in the end, it was very disappointing. Let's fight, buddy. I don't know why they why do they do that? They like die and then they put their legs up like that. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh-oh, Doc. Looks like it's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Desmond, we have to go. There you are. Come on. Help Lucy into the van. Hurry, Desmond, we need to go! You'll have your turn, Desmond. Warren's gonna get what he deserves. I promise. So what now? Where are we headed? There's a cabin up north. We should be safe there. At least for a little while. I have to analyze those tapes from your session. Figure out what's happening. And then what? Here we go. I've got you all hooked up. We've got a long drive ahead of us. Figured you might want to play around with the Animus on the way. All right, but I got some questions first. I mean, what the hell was that in the vault? What you saw proves everything I was afraid of. The Templars aren't our biggest threat. Not by a long shot. So what, the sun is? What's it gonna do, cook the Earth? I doubt it, but I don't know. There's been some speculation that the Earth's magnetic field is weakening. A sufficiently strong flare could flip the poles and cause a geomagnetic reversal. It's all theoretical, but if it happens, the planet could become geologically unstable. Very unstable. It's meant to be the stuff of pseudoscience, but clearly something catastrophic happened to the people of the first civilization. And that woman, what was her name? Minerva, was it? She seemed to think we were due for a second round. So either way, we're fucked. I don't know yet. We'll keep reviewing the tapes, and you can keep digging through your memories. Maybe there's more to discover. All right. Guess I better get started. All right, and uh, and I guess that's the ending, eh? Uh, so now it's the true ending. So what did uh, for anyone that may be watching that has 
not seen the ending yet or not seen the ending uh, what I mean by that is uh, if this was your first time watching it well, what did you think of it did, did it make much sense to you But I thoroughly uh, enjoyed my time with the Assassin's Creed series though. It's especially Assassin's Creed 2. This was really well done and I really in in enjoyed it to be honest. It, it, it was pretty awesome. Um, but because of the, uh, the uh, exam and the Steam controller it took me a little bit uh, to actually get started again. No one's really typing anything, so I so assume that people don't really have much to say. Or maybe my program might not be working. That detects the chat and all that stuff. Speaking of which, I should probably check it out if that's actually working. So give me one moment. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to just disconnect this and I'm going to reconnect it. Okay. Ah, uh, mouse. Okay, there we go. And we're back. I see. Well, to summarize everything that happened uh, in like one or two sentences, uh, pretty much what happened was Rodrigo Borgia, the guy with the staff there, uh, was trying to combine the staff and the apple. So he so during the entire game, basically um, what ended up happening was that uh, the protagonist, uh, you know, um, the family got killed because uh, of 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 the last guy that had just killed, you know. Um, so for the entirety of the game, what I was trying to do uh, was to pretty much uh, find out what was happening. And then I found out that the head of this guy was was the guy I just killed, which is Rodrigo Borgia or whatever. Um, and as I found out that he was the main dude, um, I also learned of the existence of artifacts and and the apple of eden and then i came into the position of the apple of eden um from um from these two brothers it was near the katrina city but uh, that is ir irrelevant um once again the position of the apple of eden um we decided to go for the final mission uh, to go to towards the vault because uh, Mario, my uncle, uh, stated that uh, that uh, there was apparently a vault and ancient artifacts and the assassins kept information and knowledge about stuff like that. So I collected the codex pages to make the map to see what was happening. Um, and... Um, and then we went to Rome because uh, well, well, one of the texts stated that uh, that the vault is located within Rome or something. Or, or, or I think I actually went there to ass assassinate Rodrigo Borgia and then he mentioned something about the vault. And then I decided to, uh, to go, for go further in and, and then um, Ezio stumbled upon, uh, you know, upon the deities of the o older world and, and what ended up happening there was that that deity uh, used Ezio uh, to talk to Desmond because they predicted that that was going to happen um, and they warned him uh, and told him to go into the other temples to find more inf information regarding that um and that's it so um and uh and yeah uh it, they haven't actually shown what the catastrophe 
is going to be i think that's what you said um but uh and i i think i know what it is but i'm not gonna spoil it because i believe uh it is explained further uh in the, in the other assassin's creed games so there you go and that was the i think from what i gather the entire story of assassin's creed 2. So now do you have any questions regarding it so at this point so so at this point um uh Ezio is confused he's like what who are you talking to what are you talking about who the hell is desmond you know what i mean it's crazy <laughs> yeah it it is not bad it is pretty fa fantastic uh, story I really liked it so but there were there's a lot of people that were like I don't like this story this story is terrible like what is happening why why is there this fantasy sci-fi stuff within my Assassin's Creed you know etc 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 but I like it I think it's it is fantastic but I think that uh, they're not going to be continuing this um, in the newer ones um, but I'll, I'll explain more uh, once I get to it. Okay, uh, I don't know what, what what's going to happen here, so we'll see. Maybe it'll, they'll drop me back into the villa. Oh, where am I? Gold... I don't think there is any point in me looting this because after this I'm, I'm I'm not gonna play this game again so I just want to see where I am I've also been considering getting the Xbox Elite controller but I have so many controllers that I don't think that it's actually worth it okay so pretty much I'm done with all of the story quests so now I can actually just run around and do what whatever I pretty much want, um, which means that uh, this kind of concludes Assassin's Creed's two story. Like um, in the sense that uh, I'm done with you know with the main story, but there's also collectibles and stuff. So instead of me uh, spending the time to collect them, them all, could I dislike doing that type of stuff? Uh, I'm going to open up YouTube and I'm just going to search uh, a couple of things really quick. Um, and then after that, I'll call it. So so with that said, um, uh, yeah. now it's just going to be the video stuff. Uh, I'm going to show the secret um, 17. I, I think it's 17. No, uh, su subject 16 video is going to be the entire video. And I'm going to show... Um, and I'm going to look up like what happens when you collect all the feathers in Assassin's Creed, Creed 2 for Maria. Okay. And uh, so with that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send him off here. What? You can't grab the window? Okay, you can. Okay, good. Just want to end it to a point where it's uh, it's actually up top here. Oh, I can't climb the flag, but that's okay, you know. And this has been Assassin's Creed 2. Um, I'm, I'm going to do an, uh, a spoiler here. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood starts from here as well. So it's a, it's a continuation of the story. Pre pre pretty much from where this leaves off. So, so with that said, uh, we're going to move on to the other part now. So I'm actually going to end this here somehow, exit, exit shortcut, close application, done. 
And now I need to capture this. There we go. It says to manage screenshots and stuff, so I'm not gonna do that. But this, but this is how I play the PC games now. I, I think it's pretty fantastic. So that's a pretty fantastic car. All right. That's me. Um, speaking of which, I might as well turn on the webcam because I'll be doing this. Okay, so subject 16 video Assassin's Creed 2. Where's the camera? Hey, what's up? How's it going? I got a very big beard now. It's fantastic. All right. Um, let's move on. I hope this is at good quality. 720p60. Yep, that's what I'm streaming at. So, I, I actually this is a <laughs> somebody took a recording off the of their TV to actually do this. That, that's pretty funny. I think this one is a bit better, but it might be lower quality. Yeah, it is lower quality. Um, let me actually try to search for more hair. Audio from glyphs plus truth video okay so this is exactly what we want but the issue is that it's 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 very low quality uh also very low quality wow oh my god i'm gonna turn on turn off the webcam but this is what I look like in case you will only watch Assassin's Creed 2 so all right there's nothing here okay so this is 720p but it's at 30 fps but that should be fine it's just a video um so let me just increase this by quite a bit there's nothing here Strange. I'm seeing a massive amount of data. What does he mean? The miracle is in the execution? I don't know. Some kind of commentary on nihilism? He's playing with us. Unless... It isn't a video. Hang on. Launch it yourself when you're ready. Not sure what I'm launching here. Dude, this guy has a crossbow. Are you kidding me? Where do you get a crossbow? What? This is pretty neat. Come on, you're not even using the Steam controller. You have no excuse. So when you complete the puzzles, I, I believe this is what comes up. And, uh, and then you do this stuff there. So they sure reward you uh, with something entirely unique. I think that this is pretty fantastic. If I had known it was like this, I would have considered more more heavily on actually solving that. But yeah, it is too late now. No, I, I do realize that I can actually skip ahead 
and just skip this part and not have to uh, see this, you know. But I think that it is essential uh, to the uh, game story to actually see through these things. He's collecting Tetris pieces, which is a bit strange. He might be making some mistakes here though, uh, I'm not certain. Okay. I think he made it, so that's good. Or she made it, I'm not sure. Subsystems, infrastructure, tendons, heart, voice, subject 16. <laughs> yes, <coughs> yes, subject 17. You're dead. I saw your blood. No time. It is far later than you know. Too late to save them. Who? She is not who you think she is. Everything you hope to become, everything you hold dear, it's already gone. Explain. Please. Eden. She. In Eden, find Eve. The key, her DNA. Tell me. I cannot. The son. Your son. Too weak. Must replenish energy. Don't go! I am with you till the end. Find me in the darkness. Wait. Oh! This is completely different. Uh, this is from Brotherhood. Hey, we know the secret ending from the brotherhood uh um uh t take it for what you will don't remember anything that happened there all right let's move on my god look he even says it too late like who that who spells like that <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I just did that. I I am very sorry. Uh, I I did not intend that at all. No, I don't want to. It's very difficult to find this at good quality, though. See, most of them are just. Of people taking video with their cameras. What if I do 720p? Okay, that that's it. That's it. Okay, got it. It's not in like super good quality, but this is something, this is the best one that I can find so far.
Okay, so that was Adam and Eve. They were running away from somebody or something. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, uh, that does that. Um, the secret ending for, for Brotherhood has a bit of spoilers. Uh, if you can uh, piece them together. Um, I, I was able to because of the memories of me playing the, the other game. So, I think I know what's going to happen next. But... Uh, but that's okay. Um, I'll play that again though. The next time I, or not the next time. Yeah, the next time I beat Brotherhood. So. But for now, uh, I believe this concludes. Oh no, wait, sorry. Uh, one more thing that uh, that we had to do is is to actually see what happens when you collect all the feathers. Right, this is not responding. This is fantastic. It's going great. Come on. You could do it. There you go. All right. Uh, what happens when you collect all the feathers in Assassin's Creed 2? Apparently, Assassin's Creed 3 has them too. There are two rewards for collecting. With 50, you unlock a special hammer weapon. You out of auditory cave, which makes you notorious. And just an achievement or a trophy. So, it's not worth it to collect uh, those feathers, unless you really want to collect them because you enjoy them. But uh, this has been part number 7, I think, or or or, or 8, and this has been Sass Creed 2. It doesn't matter about the part because this is the end part, woohoo, you know. Um, so, thank you for watching, and uh, and I hope you have a good day, or a good night. Or a good morning. Or a good evening. I don't know. Alright. Hasta la vista. And, uh... Alright. Thank you for enjoying this experience with me. And, uh... And have a wonderful life. Alright. Bye-bye.